While Three Hopes is technically a direct sequel to 2017's Fire Emblem Warriors, it shares much more in common with the last Nintendo crossover, 2020's Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. It offers an alternate take on the story of Three Houses, starring a mercenary named Shez in place of Byleth. The old hero turns villain as Shez joins up with one of the Three Houses and seeks revenge. Have to keep fighting. The storytelling feels just like the Fire Emblem of old thanks to numerous fully voiced cutscenes and other conversational opportunities. Things can get complicated when characters talk about their distant relatives or which fiefdom they plan to conquer next, but it works. Even outside the main missions, Three Hopes does a lot to keep things moving story-wise. Instead of living inside a menu, this game's camp is a fully realized environment that you could walk around at will. You can talk with every character you've recruited, buy weapons and gifts, volunteer your army to perform chores, I sure hope it's something I can actually do, train and gain levels, or even cook up a meal for your comrades. It's a whole sub-game that feeds into battles via necessary upgrades to health and attack power. Oh, this looks great! I'm gonna demolish this puppy for sure! This is all great, for a little while, but walking around big open areas just to get some errands done gets old fast. You'll likely start warping around via a handy menu before too long, and even that drags towards the end of the campaign. Progression can be slow considering the action game pacing elsewhere, but it's ultimately rewarding to see favorite characters get a class upgrade or a brand new magic spell as a result of your efforts. This is part of me now. Oh, there you are, Hubert. I've been searching everywhere for you. There was a support system in Fire Emblem Warriors, but it feels tiny compared to what's available in Three Hopes. While not every pairing has a cutscene when they reach certain levels of friendships, a good chunk of them do, especially regarding Shez. There will be things I can do to protect Her Majesty. Beyond the normal talks, they can also take characters horseback riding outside of camp for sit-down conversations. You should invite me out like this more often. Unfortunately, these moments feel less like intimate rendezvous and more like a pop quiz, as you're judged based on how well you can respond via multiple choice. Uh-huh. If you're perceptive enough to guess the correct responses three times in a row, you get a closer look at your associate while they make jokes about how you should stay respectful with your gaze. I'm going to assume you're looking for a crack in my armor where a blade might slip through? This style of interaction has been a part of Fire Emblem for a while now, but the implementation here is as awkward as it sounds, leading to an activity that likely won't please anyone. Oh dear. Between all of the upgrading camp facilities and tending to friendships, Three Hopes has a level of progression that many other Musou lack. There are always things to do between battles, and upgrades roll out at a good pace, so you're never overwhelmed by options. It will be great to see Omega Force take what it has learned here and apply it to the Dynasty and Samurai games, which could definitely use some ways of mixing up their gameplay. Most of the new ideas in Three Hopes are not on the battlefield, so if you've played any Warriors games before, you know what to expect when you head into combat. Your army consists of swordmasters, knights, mages, and archers, all with strengths and weaknesses dictated by Fire Emblem's weapon wheel. Despite that, any one decently leveled character can mash through most fodder enemies and smaller generals, with only the biggest bosses posing any threat. Missions are straightforward and fun if you train your abilities right, stick to a core group of heroes, and pay attention to the ever-changing objectives. That's not to say that nothing has changed. Three Hopes pushes you toward named enemies more than ever by expanding on the stun meters found in the original Fire Emblem Warriors. Hitting stronghold leaders and other unique enemies over and over will knock them down and let you perform a super move that generally strikes a killing blow. This is in addition to the returning Awakening Mode and Warrior Specials. The resulting gameplay is far more flashy than you'd expect, ending up similar to Doom 2016's Glory Kills. Battles propel you in the right direction, and reward you with more of the scream-killing madness that brings people to this genre in the first place. Do you know who I am? Three Hopes has also learned to get out of its own way when it comes to combat more often than not. Leveling up no longer pauses the action mid-fight by default. Instead, 
all the stat boost screens have been pushed to the end of the level. AI characters can be assigned to fight specific generals on the map rather than just entire strongholds, allowing you to use their limited combat prowess effectively. Just leave it to me! You can also equip your extra characters with the best weapons and abilities at the press of a button, which is remarkable considering how many swords, axes, and spellbooks languish in your inventory over time. Getting around has never been easier, as Shez can teleport to friendly areas up to three times per battle. The side objectives and even some complete missions account for this, giving the battlefield more variety than I expected. Switching characters at will is necessary, as you rescue surrounded generals and stop mages from bombarding your positions with fireballs. I'll fight too. Go. No matter who you play as, you can cover a lot of ground and mop up these side objectives while still flowing towards your ultimate goal. These are all needed improvements, as Three Hopes expects you to go to war quite a bit. And this is for the best, isn't it? Each primary mission has several unskippable side missions alongside them, and many more optional story quests. There's a war map where your army has to advance towards the objective by completing smaller skirmishes, and it's here where the formula starts to buckle under its weight. You come to any Musou game for the combat, but Three Hope packs in too much filler even when you ignore everything optional, leading to some obnoxious repetition over the course of its 25-ish hours. Unless you plan on experiencing the story piecemeal over the course of one to two months, you'll likely grow tired of doing these same battles long before the credits roll. Not all days go the way of hope. That overlong playthrough doesn't account for the story's many twists and turns on your first playthrough, and the differences provided by the two nations you don't pick right off the bat. You won't get the full breadth of each house's missions unless you're willing to run through the campaign repeatedly. Whether alone or playing with a friend in couch co-op, there's just a lot of content here. Even the improved progression can't fully mitigate the repetition that comes hand in hand with any Warriors game, but it does a better job of it than I've seen in this genre to date. You generally know what you're getting into when you boot up any Omega Force game, but Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes includes pleasant surprises. Unlike the original Fire Emblem Warriors, Three Hopes no longer feels like a Musou game with references to another series layered on, but a true hybrid of Fire Emblem's social gameplay and Warriors' battles. It works, despite overstaying its welcome and missing the mark when it comes to the more intimate interactions. What? Any progress in the Warriors series